Welcome, ladles and jelly spoons, to King's Bishop Teaches Chess. I'm Coach Daniel, your host, also known as King's Bishop here at chess.com, and we're bringing another edition of the Tactics Training video series, Tactics Training 1300 this time, and we'll work our way up to the 1400 level. Let's get started here. It's been a little while since I've been able to do these. We'll mark the king, the queen, anything undefended. I notice the relationship between my queen and his king. He's threatening this here. I can give a check and attract the king to b2, then capture the bishop with check, forcing the king either to b1 or b3. If he plays to b1, rook b8 is mate. Um, if he plays to b3, all right, so capture, capture. And then the queen captures check, king to b3. I still bring the rook to b8 check. The pawn covers c4, so the king is forced to a4. Then I can bring my queen from d2 to c2 check, forcing the king to a5. So king goes to a5, my queen can go to c3 check, forcing the king back to a4 or a6. Either way, that's check. He's forced back to a5, and that's a magic square checkmate. <clears throat> I think that's it. Check. Check with the queen, check with the rook. Queen c2, check. Queen takes check, and he doesn't make me finish. If he goes here, I go here. He's forced back to a5, and then magic square checkmate. If he goes to a6, same thing, or I can even um, play queen to c6 if I like, doesn't matter because he's forced back to a5 and a magic square checkmate will be given. So that's one in the books. All right, not a bad start. Let's go to the next one. All right, king, queen, pawns undefended. Our queen's in line with our opponent's king. Uh, what we want to do is capture the bishop, attract the rook away from f3, and then force the king there, and then skewer, use our bishop to pin the rook to the king and win the rook for a bishop. So capture, uh, capture the pawn check. Okay, he didn't move his king. If I take the queen, he takes my rook and I'm losing, so that's not right. Um, I can take his rook with check because I have the other rook x-rayed. Rook takes rook, uh, rook takes, queen takes rook, rook takes rook, queen, rook takes rook. And then the queen has to block. Queen has to play to g1. Rook takes. King takes. And then this undefended pawn can be gobbled up by my bishop. All right, let's look at the next one. King, queen. He can take my queen, undefended, undefended. 
So the queens are attacking each other. He's attacking me, but I'm attacking him. But his queen's defended, so what I can do is attract the king away from the defense of his queen by giving it check here. And then I win the queen. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Undefended pawn here. It's about to promote. I can just take it, but then he skewers my king and my rook, and that's losing. So what I should do is move my pawn, let him promote, take the promoted pawn. He takes me, and then I promote my own pawn, and I have a queen against a, a rook. So that's going to be right. Capture, queen, and bada bing, bada boom. Next one. All right, king, undefended, undefended pawn. I can attack the rook. Uh, what I want to do is notice the relationship here. I take this knight, attract the king into a pinwheel pattern. When the king is on f8, then there's a fork on e6. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's play that. It's known as what I call the pinwheel pattern and win the rook. All right. Perfect so far. All right. King, queen. Undefended, undefended, undefended bishop, undefended and attacking. Of course, I could just take it with any one of three pieces, which means it's probably not the move. What it is, the queen here is, is trapped. It looks like it has nowhere to go. We just attack it. And yeah, bada bing, bada boom. All right, king, queen, everything's undefended. We could put a red box on everything, but this is the important peace relationship. Skewer the king and the queen. King moves to d7, capture, king captures, and we close the mating net with our king. His pawn can run, but we will be mating just before, yes, just before he can queen, we're mating him with a pawn. Capture, build the mating net, push the pawn, checkmate. <coughs> All right, very gratifying checkmate. King, queen, undefended bishop, undefended pawns. Okay, so notice the peace relationship between the king and the bishop. They're in a forking pattern, a wing pattern. With our knight, we can attack the queen. The pawn is pinned by our queen because his queen's undefended. So we attack the queen. Pawn can't take. So then we fork the king and the bishop and win the bishop. All right, nice. All right, king, queen, undefended, undefended. We could just take with any one of these pieces, but of course our knight is hanging, so we might want to take first Svish and Sug, and then take the bishop. So knight takes, wait a minute, let me put that back. I have a check here. His king is forced to... I almost played the wrong move because the king's forced to e7. Uh, and then I can give check with my knight. And his knight is pinned by my bishop, so it's checkmate. It's uh, like a Legal's mate. 
Checkmate. Almost took... I thought it was a Zvish and Sug at first. Those are the ones that always get me when there's multiple. King, Queen. I can uh, take the Knight. Queen takes or Rook takes. He's got a back rank weakness, so the Rook cannot take. Okay, so we attack the queen and the knight through the queen. Queen moves either to e6 or a6. Doesn't matter. We take. He takes. He cannot. We take with the rook. Oh, it didn't make us prove it. <coughs> All right. Works for me. All right. King, queen. Undefended but irrelevant pawn. He's threatening our bishop. Our bishop can take the knight. Our rook can take the knight with check, leaving his queen undefended. All right, that removes the defender. He has got to get out of check, so we win the queen. All right. King, queen... Nothing's undefended. We can fork the queen and the magic square. Threatening checkmate. He'd have to block. We take the bishop. He takes our queen. Then we get his queen. And we're netting a queen. I mean, we're netting a bishop, I should say. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, next one. Undefended bishop. Okay, our rook is in line with the pawn. We can fork the bishop and the magic square, basically. Threatening checkmate, winning the bishop. He has to protect the magic square with his queen, and we win the bishop. Next puzzle. King, queen, undefended bishop. What we want to do is get our queen to f1 for checkmate. So by playing to f2, we're forking the undefended bishop and the checkmate square. He has to move, that, therefore, to g1 to defend that. But then we move to e1. Excuse me, I said g1. I meant g2. And, uh, and well, he didn't do any of that. He just lets us capture his bishop because the other ends up in checkmate. King, queen, two undefended pawns. Uh, da, da, da. We've got a back rank weakness of our own, so queen c1 is checkmate in two moves. If we give check, we can do it on a1, defending this diagonal so that our bishop can go to e4, which gives check, forcing the queen to capture. Otherwise, there's no other legal move. And we win the queen for a bishop. Boom. Okay, next one. King. Undefended. Undefended. We can attack the bishop. He just moves away, so that's not going to work. How about hooking the king? The king would be forced to e6 because our knight covers d6. So the king would have to go to e6. Rook to d6 check forces the king to um, f7. Everything else is covered by the knights. And then once the king's on f7, we can play knight to d8, forking the king and the um, bishop. Excuse me, the king goes f7, forks the king and the rook. Absolutely. All right, let's play it. I think that's it. Check, check, fork. And capture. 
Next puzzle. King, queen. We just have a super attack on this knight right here. We don't want to take it with the rook because of a back rank weakness on our side, but we can just take it with the queen here and overpower. All right, king, back rank weakness. Queen, undefended rook can't be reached, but this, he just blocks with the rook protected by the queen, so that won't work. But we can fork these two people. Bam! And win the rook. Next one. This is a puzzle rush. You should see it right away. Simple fork. And bada bing, bada boom. King. Queen. Undefended, undefended. Undefended, undefended. It could be captured by our king or our rook. Notice this, though. There's a discovery here, and then a super attack on the queen there after knight takes bishop. Check. Rook takes bishop, and then we just win the, the queen with our knight. And if the bishop takes, we take with our queen. Bada bing, bada boom. King, queen, undefended, undefended. He's threatening to hit us with his queen here. We can give check, force the king to g4, check. King to h5, rook comes over, check. Queen's got to block. Yeah, check, 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 capture the queen. Bada bing, bada boom. Next one. <clears throat> All right, king, queen, undefended. Yeah, the pawn is going to be pinned, so we can use our knight to give check, force the king to a8, bishop cuffs off b8. With the king on a8, we can give check. He takes, we give check mate because everything is cut off. All right, so knight gives check. King must go to a8, sack the queen, open the diagonal, and it's check mate. Check, cut off, and cut off. Boom, almost there. One more point and we would have been there. If we get this right, we will be there. King. Queen. Undefended. What we'd really like to do, we have control of the H file. We'd like our queen to get up here on H2 for checkmate. So we have to come to H6. He'll see the checkmate coming. He'll move his rook so his king can go to F1. We'll play queen h2 check. He goes to f1. We bring our other rook over. And when the queen gets out of danger, he's checkmated on the magic square. So actually, he ends up losing his queen. So queen over, rook over, check, king f1, rook f8, any move he has to take or he's checkmated, or he just loses his queen. Okay, he didn't move his rook, but it's the same thing. I give check and force the king to the F file, and I'm still winning the queen. All right, that puts us at 1406. That was a pretty good run, pretty quick. And I hope um, it wasn't too quick for you to follow the explanations. Hope you had as much fun with it as I did. Good luck on your own tactics, and um, I just realized I've got the logo behind me instead of in front of me, so I'll have to fix that for the next time. The chess.com logo belongs in front of me. Uh, so next time, Tactics Training 1400, and until then, have a great day. 
and play.